Hey guys, it's David with Think Make Push. If you want to stick around to the end of this video, I have a quick tutorial on how to use this new overlay that I made. So if you have any questions, hopefully they'll be answered there. All right, we're gonna take a look at the new overlay that we have for this week. And I've, I get some questions sometimes on how to use these overlays. And so I kinda of wanted to just make a quick little video showing how to use them. And this is pretty standard for all of the overlays that I make, they, they're all the same way. So uh, let's go ahead and import the, the new overlay here. And then we will just go ahead and get some video here that we can work with. This is some video that I shot around my office. So this will give us something to, to work with. And so we will transition from the old projector to some Mickey Mouse old film. All right, so on our overlay, just kind of search through and find a good spot where you want to use as a transition. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this little section right here, maybe. So what you do, just bring that down, just put it over the the middle of your transition here where you want it to transition from you know, one clip to the other. So I've got it right there in the middle. And then what we do, and of course I'm using Premiere Pro, so this will be different a little bit for different uh, video editing systems. But you'll select the clip and then you go to your effects controls and for the opacity, under opacity where it says blending mode, you want to change that to screen. You can that's the one I usually use a screen. Now you can change it to color dodge or you can use a try these other ones as well, but typically screen looks the best. And so now whenever we play that back, you'll have a nice little transition from one to the other. And sometimes also what I do is I'll uh, add a dissolve to the front and the beginning of the end of these. So it just kind of smooths it out a little bit. And that's really all there is to it. So let's find another section here. All right, so we'll transition from this clip to this clip. So we'll go back to our overlay here. And it really is just up to your preference what section you wanna use. So for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the brightest point because whenever you change it to screen, basically what the blending mode, what the screen does, it gets rid of all of the, the blacks, all of the darker areas of the video. So meaning all the bright areas or all the white areas will stay there. They won't be as transparent. So uh, we'll go and change that to screen. So you can see not really much looks like it had changed and that's because that's the bright part. So it didn't really go anywhere, but all the darker parts, you can see through them now. So let's see how that looks. All right, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, where it gets bright, I'm gonna use that as the actual transition spot. So let's find where it turns white, bring that back out a little bit. And then that way, whenever it turns bright, when it turns white, that's when the, it actually transitions to the next clip, so. A few other things you can do to, to change it up, I guess, if you want to. You can find a few different spots on the overlay. Like let's say if you liked these um, these marks on the side here and you wanted to use those, you could totally put those on there as well and change that to screen. So then you've got an overlay on top of an overlay and it'll give you a whole different look here. And there you go. Hey, I hope that was helpful for you. If I missed anything, leave a comment down below and ask away and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notifications so that way you'll know whenever I upload a new video for you. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.